ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a, uh, a very special episode of Late Night Edmonton. Um, I'm your host, Donovan Ekstrom. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, uh, this show is about Edmontonians, by Edmontonians, and for Edmontonians. For those of you who have been here, uh, you're probably noticing a couple of different things. Uh, first off, this belt is not from the WWE. This is a belt from a very special guest who is coming out very soon. So please, but secondly, our, um, I guess it would be my, my friend, uh, my sidekick, my partner, Tamar Harb is not here to announce the show. Um, we don't know where he is, um, and we hope that he comes home soon. Tamar? Come back soon. We really miss you. Um, we, if, for those of you also don't know, is that we've been filming some behind the scenes segments. We've been filming some stuff behind the scenes, and so we've used the last little bit of footage to make a very special opening with Tamar. And I hope that you all enjoy it. Um, yeah, let's just we'll just take it from there. Uh, enjoy enjoy our special opening for Tamar Harv. Like, you know, like, like, like back in that first episode with like the uh, the balloons, remember? And we could just have we could have more balloons, like a lot more balloons. And you and then you just keep blowing them up, and then there's just balloons everywhere. <laughs> You're not you haven't been laughing this whole time. Is everything okay? Or Tam? Huh? Is everything all right? I don't know, dude, just with just with everything, like school and and, and work and this and, yeah. and like everything, I just, I'm real stressed, you know. You know what, I probably, uh, I'm just going to walk to downtown and back and hopefully, I don't know, yeah, hopefully I'll clear up my mind by then. What? Town mm -hmm. downtown is an hour there and then an hour back, that's two hours, the show will be done by then. I. I, I'll make it back in time. Uh, how do you know? Like, what if something happens to you? I'll, I'll run or something. I mean, really, it's just it's just across the bridge. And besides, what's the worst that can happen? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic show tonight. Our first guest is coming up right now. You might know him as the former father-in-law of Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for the one, the only, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, everybody! <laughs> Um, what is going? What is? Are you okay? Just hold on. <laughs> Every time I sit down, I'm telling you, that's what happens. This is Elvis. That's a gun. <laughs> well, I, that's all right. I, I, I got a permit. <laughs> Go ahead, look at that. That's enough. Permit. That, yeah, Hawaii Five O. That, that's that's you, all right. Well, well all righty then, Mr. Presley. Yes, sir. Welcome back from the presumed dead. I think everybody thought that you have passed on. What have you been up to from about the late seventies to today? Well, it all started when I fell asleep in the back of the truck. You know. <laughs> And then somebody rented the truck, and then the next thing I, was, I knew, I was, I was with Rear Dale Yankovic in Canada. 
I swear to God, I didn't know I got out of the truck and then a lot of nice, nice, nice girls here and nice people and everybody's so polite. You know, I felt like I was in the South, but colder. So um, I decided to stay and, and, and I've done all kinds of things. Like I grew beards, grew mustaches and chopped my hair and shaved my head and uh, worked in pizza joints and, and pawn shops and, you know. It's everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> Elvis's most famous song. <laughs> Well, you know, it's better than the ones from, like, the movies, like, you know, Spin Up. I'll move that over there. Oh, um, Elvis. It's surreal that I'm saying that. Elvis, what are some of your major projects happening right now? Have you been, have you been planning, like, a new tour? Are you uh, just, just settling low in, in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta? Well, I, I was thinking maybe it's time to come back because, you know, people might forget. God bless them, they didn't. But uh, <laughs> I was thinking maybe, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to go and, and join Axel Rose. And, and it'll be uh, uh, King and Roses, you know, or something like that. <laughs> Have you seen him lately? I thought I'd put on weight in his 70s, you know. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like that little Paul What's-His-Face, you know. The guy was in the Phantom of the Opera movie. Speaking, <laughs> speaking about movies, where, where's your cohort? The, the other guy. Um, uh, from what we know of, uh, Tamer has fallen off the high-level bridge, and we have n no clue where he is. Real Tamer. 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 That. That. Yes. Uh, my. My oh, partner. Man. My. My sidekick. My. My friend. Never mind. I, I thought he was a guy from the interview. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rogen. Yeah. I was, gonna, <laughs> I, I was gonna ask him if he really did take that poison and stick it in. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is unreal. Oh. I got a prescription for that. <laughs> I'm just afraid of what you're going to pull out of your butt next, Elvis. I don't think I can compete with your co-host. <laughs> he's, <not laughs> he's not even, he can't even defend him. Oh, here we go. I, I, just, I just, you know, takes the edge off the show. I'm a little nervous. I haven't, I haven't done anything in a few years, you know. That's true. What the hell? You missed like one. Well, I like to share. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. If you insist, Mr. Presley. Mm. Just call me Elvis. <laughs> You have had an illustrious career in Hollywood. You, you have been coast to coast. You've been everywhere. I'm just curious about what's, what's one of your favorite roles in Hollywood and what's been one of your like least favorite? Like what was the, the peak of it? And what's been like a, I don't even know what's going on moment. Well, I, 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 I think I really liked um, like loving you. Oh yeah. Because that was, that was like, like my life story, you know, coming from nowhere, dirt poor. And, and becoming a famous singer. It's like the Goodfellas of the 60s. Sure, whatever that is, I haven't seen that. <laughs> that was just a really bad movie joke, I'm sorry. Anyways, but so yeah, so, okay, so that's top, what's what, some of the worst? Well, I, you know, there's been lots of, uh, of the movie ones where, you know, uh, well, and, and Stay Away Joe singing to a, a bull to try and get him motivated to have children, you know. Stay, stay away, Joe. Stay away, Joe. Yeah, was, stay away, Joe. That was a good one, I tell you. I should have got an Academy Award. You, know? you, you talked to a, a, ho a cow, horse? What a was bull, it? you know, it's got a bull. horns. A bull. You talked to a bull to have it try to produce offspring. Well, I sang to it, you know. <laughs> you sang to it. Okay, now that makes a lot more sense, <laughs> Mr. Presley. That is by far one of the best yeah that is you ever watch any of my movies i watched spin out that's the only one i know that you do <laughs> that's the one where you're an automotive mechanic and you're wooing three, three women watch a spin out i loved it it was great you were an automotive mechanic i'll say it again you were wooing three women and you succeeded yeah well that was the same in clam bake and spin out and speedway and Pretty much anything, any Elvis movie. I've noticed that most of your films, Mr. Presley, have been um, how they're pretty uh, formulaic. Is, is that is that a nice way of putting it? it or not? For it's a cookie cutter. 
it fairly is fairly cookie cutter. Well, you know, that way, that way, I, I, I just got to know what my name is, and the rest is the same. You know, <laughs> I don't have to worry about your script. Your name is Sergeant Major Brown, and you're going on to the beaches of Normandy, and you're going to woo three French girls. Are you ready, Elvis, for a, uh, an Academy Award-winning performance? Yes or no? Well, you know, it's always easy. You just you just get into the role and. And you, you, you get off the boat and you're holding your gun and you go, voulez-vous, honey? <laughs> I want to sing you something special, you know? And I, I get to make out with three girls I don't really like and one that I kind of like. And then <laughs> I'm driving away in the car singing with the credits going, you know? That is you know, the, the optimal Hollywood move. And that is sensational. I, I'd like to thank the Academy for my bottle of Pepsi. Um, no, I just can't. So tell me about you. What do you do here in Edmonton? Um, I, I host a, a, a late night show that I don't even know why is still going. I've never seen it. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame you. <laughs> is it called Spin Out? It's. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> he said it! He said it! Oh man. No, it's called Late Night Edmonton with Don in the next room. This is late night. I just got out of bed, man. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I thought this was morning, you know? See, it's, it, yeah, did you I told wake you I up? got a prescription for that. You woke up at probably about 10 p.m., is that correct? Well, 9.30, I had to shower. 9.30? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You owe oh. me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't made that much yet, eh? <laughs> we're, we're, tr we're, we're trying, Elvis. <laughs> we're doing the best we can. And it's uh, That's alright, so in here, you know, just go cash it. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can, can keep the belt? Whatever floats your boat, baby. Yes! Oh man, that's awesome. We're gonna have a fun little segment after this. It's called Cooking with the King. It's gonna be <laughs> sensational. We're gonna make some of Elvis's favorite food. So, ladies and gentlemen, after the break, Cooking with the King, everybody. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cooking with the King. Here we go. So, Elvis, your favorite food is a banana and... A fried peanut butter and banana shell. Fried? Uh, well, we don't really have a, a thing to fry with. Um, but do you want to tell us a little bit, like, we have a lot of the ingredients there. Um, do you want to tell us how to make your favorite sandwich? Well, the first thing you do is you, you get a big spoonful of greasy bacon fat. And you throw it in the frying pan, you turn it on high. Then you take some bread and you, you butter it on both sides and you throw that on top of the bacon fat with the peanut butter and the banana inside. Mm -hmm. And then you let it burn a little bit and then you flip it over and you let that side burn a little bit and then you're good to go. So our show can't really afford bacon. So what we said we have is a uh, no-name brand cooked ham from Superstore. It's a little <laughs> bit leaky. Uh, no-name brand cooked ham. Bacon? Cooked ham. There's no bacon on a fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. What are you stupid? Take this said. bacon and shove it in your. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Presley, I think we can we can we can make this work. I think we're gonna make it work. Uh, we also can't afford a uh, bacon fat, uh, so instead we have a toaster. Toaster. Yeah. A toaster. In a fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. I understand that this sounds very perturbing. Where do you hear the word toaster? Elvis, I'm trying to do what I can to make this segment work. Do you ever wonder why your show's got no budget? <laughs> <laughs> you just don't take no direction very well, son. Okay, well, with what we've got right now, I think we can make something great. Elvis, do you want to just go ahead and make some food? I think, you can, I think you're, you're pretty good at making some stuff. You know, I, I actually don't cook. I have people cook for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, so you can make that. And I just watch you. All right, so uh, I imagine it's, I understand we don't have the bacon fat, but I imagine it's uh, two pieces of bread. Well, it ain't a triple decker, son. <laughs> so put that in the toaster. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Listen to that sizzle. <laughs> Did you tell us you're working? Yes. <laughs> you got the theme song from Jeopardy? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll edit that in and post. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Why don't you sing me your favorite song from Speedway? <laughs> It's called Spin Out, Mr. Preston. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good it was, I remember. <laughs> this, this whole segment has just gone sideways. <laughs> That's a chunker stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this toast should be done by now. <laughs> I'm starting to panic. That's the longest toast I've ever seen. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty sensational. Well, while we're doing it, because this is how cooking shows work, we're going to get some of the previous ingredients all ready to go, right? So, we're going to cut, let's, let's cut some of these bananas just the way that you would, right? How, uh, how thick do you want your bananas to be cut, Mr. Preston? Just cut them lengthwise. What? Nice, nice even strips. What? Length? <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the knife is straight, Mr. President. There, there goes your future in surgery, I tell you. <laughs> oh! You're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I am pointing. Definitely you know. not. There you go. Just, oh, nice I see. Like okay, alright. Good. good. Right? Get, get some focus on. Focus on. <laughs> He's got more life. I'm <laughs> There you go. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, do you want to? Do you want a second, a second banana as well? Oh, you can cut the next one. You've been trained by the best. I've been right? trained by the best. I've been trained oh. by the king. All right, that's uh, so lengthwise. Oh, here we go. Ooh, ooh, la la. Look at that cut. I'll throw that there. All right, all right, cool. All right, that's perfect. All right. <laughs> Here's some nice. Greasy fried, fried. Greasy fried. All right, okay, cool. So we got this here. They're not the best, best cuts of bread, but we've, we've got some cuts of bread. What's next? Now you gotta put peanut butter on both sides of your bread. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Lots of peanut butter. It's banana on the, is that okay? It's all going down the same place, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, I, I'm freaking out. Crunchy peanut butter, right? Is it smooth? Elvis, can you please? And the discussion, is it smooth or crunchy peanut butter? It's smooth, baby, just like the music. I read online that it was crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy your... Oh, this is going great! We're having a good time! All right, all right, all right, cool. Did I tell you that Martha, Martha Stewart's got nothing to worry about with you? <laughs> I think the crunchy works well because the banana is smooth. Do you want too much smooth? Because Elvis, I think that you're the king of smooth. And I think that having too much smooth is a dangerous thing. Would you agree with that? Probably not. I shouldn't have asked Are that Are you question. kissing up to me because you didn't have the frying pan? That's <laughs> <laughs> about what's happening right now. Okay! Peanut butter's on both sides, Elvis. What's next? Throw your banana in the middle. Come on, we gotta cover the whole piece, man. Get it all in there. One side. I have ham. <laughs> wait, wait, it has some juice on it. <laughs> Good, nice close up of that. All right, Mr. Presley, I think I've made a pretty good sandwich. You did, bon appetit, man. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after the break, Elvis Presley is going to perform a nice song. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, finally to perform for you the greatest, the single most iconic man of rock and roll in Edmonton, Alberta. Ladies and gentlemen, please, one round of applause for Mr. Elvis Presley. Thank you so much. It's down at the end of lonely street Over in the hotel You'll be so lonely, baby You'll be so lonely You'll be so lonely And though it's always crowded You should get 
if I had some room for broken hearted lovers to cut it in a glove. Speedway. 